he fell asleep and you know what he deserves it because I would need some rest too if I end up having a heart attack the hell the number of cigarette butts is inversely proportional to my hours of sleep four ah damn you really need to go to bed then. That's sad. Ooh, a card! Come on, give me a card. Thank you. I'll take that for my collection. So, based off of what I'm seeing here, is there anything I can deduct? His heart. I mean, at least he's alive. It would be so awkward if he actually died, you know? I would never forgive myself, honestly. Okay, so in terms of seeing, what am I seeing exactly? Come on. It's so one of those things where I have to notice the bigger picture or something. Oop. I hate doing this, honestly. After a while, it just becomes a nuisance. Is that eye movement normal? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. How am I supposed to figure that out? Oh, come on. No? I got one more clue. So where is it? Where is this clue? Come on. No? Is it somewhere down this bed? Probably, right? Okay. Zoom. The hands say a lot about what's going on inside a person. All right, that's it. He seems restless. Should I tell someone? I mean, he literally just got recovered from a heart attack. See, there's no fever whatsoever. He must be having a nightmare. Are you oh. sure? Wouldn't you have nightmares too after what he went through yesterday? Ooh. I know I sure wouldn't sleep. I have nightmares myself, but those go way back. Oh, the poor thing. Do you know what my nightmare is? What? It's that, that witch I have to work with. Oh, good thing she's got trauma surgery at 1230, but I wish it were a little sooner, you know? Anyway... Thank you for letting me know. And, anytime. And, and for bringing him in. Mm-hmm, anytime. You don't know how excited I am to be involved in a criminal case. Oh my gosh, she's one of those. It might not be important, but I need to take a look at his medical report. So how will we access that? Oh, what's this? Shoes? Oh my god, shoes. Let's get some shoes. Ugh. Yeah, he needs new shoes. I gotta admit, though, those boots are fire. Yell shoes smell like a dead man. Ooh, okay. Clue. I like doing this instead. So... Let me see here. Huh, there's so much things I can come up with. Mary's been at Yell's place recently. Yell's shoes smell like a dead man. Don's murderer had it all carefully planned out. Who do the footprints at the gym belong to? Dr. Palmer suggests that Yell rest after his heart attack. And Venerius vanished after winning a fight back when Yell was a kid. The DOE nurse will be gone later for trauma surgery. Hmm. Um. 
How about this? That one and that one? Wait, hold on. Oh! No, the footprints don't match. If Yale killed Dunn, he did it without stepping in the paint or in different shoes. Or it could be not Yale at all. Yale's innocent, my boy. That is my conclusion. He is innocent there. So, how would I get the medical records? What should I do? Oh, I like that. Um, I like that painting right there. That's cute. Should I talk to... Yep. I'll talk to her. Hi. You're awake, handsome? Oh. Hey, I see you. They ran several tests on Bobby Yale last night after admitting him. Have the results come in yet? Hmm. No. I don't think so, handsome. Look at her flirting with me. Okay. I see you. So, I have four visual clues I need to look into. So, this could be... that one? Hmm. What is that? Okay, so that's three. What about that one? Cigarettes? 25 cents a pack? Oof. If my work wife was in this era, she would buy a whole bunch of them. 25 cents a pack. Holy cow. Okay, so one more. What am I looking for? This one? Shifts of the day. Okay, 12.30. Nice. I'll take a pack of Morley's, please. A dollar. Un dollar. Honey, get me a pack of Morley's for Mr. Hanson. Give me a discount, cutie. How about that? That's something my work wife would do. She would smoke. She doesn't do it all the time, though. She only does it when she's like stupid stressed. With me, it's more like cigars. Medical report if she's around. Ooh, I love this. Okay, so what would be a good distraction technique? I say this one with this one. It seems like the Doe nurse will be assisting Dr. Talbot during his 12.30 surgery. Mm-hmm. In four hours. Could I get them to operate any sooner? Ooh. That sucks. It's a long time. Honestly. It's a very long time. What is that? Ooh, Robert Yale? I can't just, like, swipe it off, right? And why would a medical report be doing right there, you know? Come on, you've got Yale's report on the table. I can see it. I should have never said anything. Well, Shit. that's that. Wow. What if you show me Yale's report and I buy you dinner? You're handsome, all right. Mm -hmm. But I'm not stupid. Oh, I'm a detective. I'm medical report if she's around. Damn, man. Now I gotta think of a distraction, bro. So I can swipe in. What is that? Hold on. Is that supposed to be Jesus? Hmm. It's very fitting how they have him as a lion. What is that? Hold on, let me just look around first. Is there anything else I can... Ooh, see? It's a good thing I didn't leave yet. Another card. Okay, so let's head on to the double door since there's nothing else for me to do. 
Why are you looking at me like that? Jerry Highfill. Long time no see. Black Sad, I didn't want to wake you. How's the boy? Asleep. I hope he recovers in time for the fight. I got tickets. Although between you and me, he doesn't yeah. stand a chance. It'll be mean? a fun bout, nonetheless. Not like this. God, this is boring. You want to smoke? Don't smoke or drink. No vice for me. Smoking's dirty. Alcohol goes straight to your head. And women, they're all just me. Well, everyone except mine. Aw, that's cute. You say you've got a good job, and yet you're bored. Well, it's just a figure of speech, really. I like my job. Is it boring? Yes, but I can entertain myself with a good fight or a football game. Well, watching them, that is. Are the odds against Yale that bad? The boy's talented, don't get me wrong. But stone is stone, you know? I bet half my pay, but you know, no vice for me. Half your pay? Holy cow, that's... You're very confident, huh? Are you sure about that? Not even one little vice? Nope. Between you and me, when someone gives in to vice, it's because something's missing. Something in their life just isn't right. I've got a good wife, a good job, a good house, a good TV, and a good hobby. Sports. Well, watching them, that is. What else do I need, eh? Black said, vice is for losers. Man, I'm bored. Vices well, for losers. I'm going back in. That is so funny. You hear that, work wife? Your smoking habit is for losers. It's like, <laughs> oh man. Come on, let me get that card. Thank you. All right. No, but in all honesty, what am I supposed to do? Am I really supposed to wait four hours? I won't be able to read Yale's medical report if she's around. Okay, you know what? I'll find something to distract. I'm punching Yale. I guess. I don't know. Right? Something's wrong with him. I need to find out what. I need to take a look at his medical report. What do you want me to do, Black Sad? How are they going to withhold evidence? They're withholding evidence and they're causing the investigation not to go through. Huh. Let me call Weekly. Tell him what's going on. Maybe he'll give me some scoop too. What? He's not answering? That's crazy. Donna Blacksad, who's this? Maybe his mom? Sister? Girlfriend? Hello? Hi, Ray. Uh, hi. Who are you? Take a guess. I already gave you a clue. I know your name, so... Maybe I know your name because we're family. No way. My dad never calls me. My grandpa never calls me. My uncle never calls. Well, he does sometimes. Yeah. Your Uncle John. Uncle John. I guessed it. Mom, it's Uncle John. I guessed it. You got me, Ray. Congrats. What did I win? Hmm. What do you want? You would be the one to get, uh, maybe a toy gun. All right, you've earned it. How about a toy gun? Come on, Uncle John. It's not fair. It's not fair. First of Oops, all, Mom's coming. Bye, Uncle John. Ray, is that the way you say goodbye to your uncle? Oops. Love you, Uncle John. Now go put on your jacket. We're late. How it's cute. Not fair. What a surprise. How are you? Hey, Donna. Bang, bang, bang! 
Everything's fine. Don't you worry about me. I do worry about you. Especially when you tell me not to. <laughs> yeah. Can't Big argue with sister. that. Big hey, sister energy. I'm in a hurry. Ray's got a dentist appointment. I'll call you soon, okay? I'm really sorry. Sure. One last thing. Ray, hurry up. We have to go. Love you, sis. And I love you, little brother. Okay. Aww. Now I really have to go. Bye, John. Bye, Uncle John. Bang, bang, bang. I knew it. I knew she was a big sister. Bendito, that's so cute. Let me check on Dunn's gym for a sec. Dunn's gym. Shake us the Yombi speaking. Jake, it's Black Side. Could you get. I have work to do, John. Call you later. Ronald, get on that ring! What the fuck? Okay, whatever. Trauma? Sherry speaking. Get Dr. Gregor Talbot, please. Yes, one minute. Um, no, actually, Dr. Talbot won't be in until 12.30, according to my registry. Can Shit. I ask who's calling? What am I supposed to? Ooh, hell yeah. I'll do this one. This should be interesting. How am I gonna mimic this doctor's voice? Sherry, this is Dr. Talbot. We have to reschedule the 12.30 procedure. I want everyone in the operating room in five minutes. If anyone gives you any grief, tell them it's a matter of life or death. Understood? Yo, you ain't shit for that black sad. This is funny as hell. A matter of life and death. A matter of life and death. You gotta be kidding me. Nice. All right, let's go. Let's go. Get that. Get that report. That is hilarious. He seriously mimicked the doctor's voice. That shit is so funny. All right now. How do I put this? I need something that you have. Oh. Oh. Only if you guess why I'm giving it to you. Hmm. This one. You want to help me solve a criminal investigation. Well, aren't you smart? Yes, I am, ma'am. But be quick about it. You hear me, huh? Mm-hmm. I got you. Which comes back. I'll be hella quick. Watch. Blackout following cardiopulmonary resuscitation. 1943. What? What does it say here? Ah, you know doctors. The top handwriting is mine. Let's see. Extra systole and dehydration caused by panic attack. Extra what? You know, arrhythmia, like skipped heartbeats. Damn. What about this here? It's a good thing I know that Mr. Yale is in Dr. Ferguson's hands. Otherwise, I'd be worried. Hey, no means no, miss. You really don't know who I am, do you? Miss, I've got orders. And the fact is, those orders say that... There you are, Miss Dunn. Come on in, huh? Sonia. Tell him, Black Sad. I can't get through that thick skull of his. You see, hi, Phil. She's the owner of Yale's gym. A woman? Whether the kid recovers or not depends entirely on her. Between you and me, and all due respect, miss, mm -hmm. but aren't we taking this woman's liberation a little too far? You're ignorant as all fuck. All right, let her in. But she's your responsibility. Cool. Thanks for convincing the cop. You hired me to find Yale. I wanted you to see him with your own eyes. I see. Anyway, you did your job. I'll send you a check the day after the fight. You can leave now. Wait, just like that? Hold up, let me observe this. She has a fucking gun? Black Sad, you see this, right? Buddy, 
She's gonna shoot him? Huh, no. She's gonna do something stupid. Sonia, don't. You killed my father. You said so yourself. Fuck. Well, now I think he didn't. Sonia, I have reasons to believe he's innocent. He I have evidence. He killed you in that floozy's apartment. How could he not be guilty? Lord. Your father wouldn't want you to do this. He was a just man, and this is not justice. Shut up. None of that matters. How could he not be guilty? Uh... Since nothing else is working, it's time to bluff it. You know I emptied that gun when I found it in the safe. No, no, no. What the fuck? Why did you say that? Oh. Okay, let me retry again. Holy shit. Sonya, don't. You killed my father. You said so yourself. Okay, well... Well, now I think he didn't. Sonya, I have reasons to believe he's innocent. He almost killed you in that floozy's apartment. How could he not be guilty? Well, the thing is... Alright, shoot. I'll arrest you myself. Are you that eager to rot in prison? Shut up! None of that matters! How could he not be guilty? Your father sacrificed everything to pay your way through college. If you do this, you'll destroy the future your father wanted you to have. That's right, Sonia. Wow. Uh, Finally. Uh, uh, and you're gonna faint now? It's okay. Come on, man. Cut it out. It's okay. Relax. Come on. I know, I know you're hurt, but this is not the way to go, okay? It's okay. <clears throat> oh. Uncle Tim! Sweetie, I came back from Los Angeles as soon as I could. I told you not to rush back. Come on now, honey. Aren't you going to introduce me to your friend? No, Ooh. this is John Blacksad, the detective who found Bobby. Oh, so this uh, is let's strictly uh, put away the gun. I thought you had some good news for your uncle. No, Uncle Tim, don't be silly. Uh, uh, I just, uh, Come on, uh, we'd better let him rest. Uh, uh, Sonia, you better not pull that shit again, you hear me? Reckless. Hmm. I see. Let's say you're right and Bobby Yale is innocent. Who should we focus on now? We? Well, your father turned down my money, but he made me promise one thing, that I'd take care of you if anything happened to him. But Aww. I can... I know you're perfectly capable of managing that gym on your own, but we don't even know if he'll be ready to fight Stone. Besides, someone seems really invested in stopping that fight. And someone has to pay Mr. Blacksad to get to the bottom of all this. Please, talk some sense into her. Your uncle is right. Your father wouldn't have wanted you to go through this alone. Yeah, See? Sonia. Listen to the detective. All right. Thank you, uncle. Thank you so much. All right. Stop crying or you'll ruin your makeup, honey. Now fix yourself up and I'll buy you some breakfast. Uh... Wait, my purse. I'll get it. I want Black breakfast. Said, wait a minute. Oh, shit. I think she needs some time alone. Just like you and me. Listen, boy. Do whatever it takes to find Joe's murder. Whatever it takes. If things get messy, don't worry. I'll clean them up. Deal? Sure. I'll do my best. Thank you. I trust you to get that ball to the end zone. No. Are you telling stories about the Great Iron Arm again? Wait a minute. Of course. The Milestone's quarterback. Tim Iron Arm <laughs> Thorpe. 
it's a good thing folks usually recognize me sooner. Black said, you coming to breakfast? I'd love to, but I have to go ask for a favor. The investigation required that I ask Jake for a small favor. Or demand it, if worse came to worse. It is crazy how I was this close into ruining the whole investigation with my with my smart ass remark. Thank goodness this game gave me the option to retry that again. Because I thought it was game over from there. I thought I totally messed up the whole investigation, so. Okay, so how do I get up? I need to talk to this guy, seriously. How do I... Oh, okay. Come on. Okay, so two observational points. Question is, which one? This one's got extra padding, just like Jake. Oh, that's funny. Is that your, is that your nice way of saying that he's dummy thick? How many hits does a boxer take to the head throughout his career? Enough to have a concussion. Hey, hi. No, not like that, Black Hey, Sad. focus, will ya? Okay, so three observational points. Come on. I hope he never feels inclined to hit me. He's twice my size. I mean, if I don't say anything smart, sure. He's been training with those same shorts for who knows how long. I don't even want to know if he washes them. I bet he doesn't. He looks to be that type that doesn't wash his clothes as much as he should. Not the smartest cookie in the jar, nor the most tactful. Damn. But do I trust him? No. Damn. Do I consider him a friend? Yes. What? Hey, Jake. Not now, John. Hey, Jake. Damn it! Wait a minute. <laughs> hey, Jake. Hey, Jake. I hey, said Jake. Not now. Hey, Jake. Hey, Jake. Okay. Let me not bother him. The paint is still here. Nothing has changed so far from the last time I've been in this gym. So you know what? I guess I'm going to have to harass this guy. Will I get beat? Probably. But at this point, I'm used to getting beat. And that's sad. Alright, that's enough. <clears throat> Take five. Go on. He's pissed. Look at him. What, John? What's so important? Have you noticed anything strange about Sonia? Don't, don't think know. too hard. Yesterday she said she hated the job. But it also seemed like she wanted to save the place. Do you get any of this? I sure don't. It might not have seemed that way, but she loved her dad. Believe me, I've got reasons to be certain. Why are you coaching that guy? Oh, that's right. You don't know. No, I don't. Sonia asked me to run the gym. Well, at least the fun part. As soon as Bobby yells back on his feet, I'll turn him into a champ. I'll make him crush stone. Just you wait. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Is it the first time you coached anyone? Yeah, but uh, you but... think I can't do this, don't you? Mm -mm. What gave Screw you that you. idea? We'll win that fight. Okay. 
Could you tell me where Old Erie's headquarters are? Uh, what for? No, no, no. You could get me into trouble. No way. Really? So maybe I should snitch then, huh? You know what? You lied to me yesterday. And being the good friend that I am, I kept your secret. Mm -hmm. You owe me. Yep, cough it up. I don't think I'd keep protecting you if we weren't friends. Yeah, Although, Jake. If we were friends, you wouldn't hesitate to help me. Yeah, Jake. Tell me, Jake. Are we friends or not? Damned cat. All right. O'Leary's hideout is in the basement of a Chinese restaurant. But I don't even know how to get in. Well, I'll see you tonight. Wait, were we supposed to meet? Of course. Yep. Your place, 11 p.m. See you there. Bye. Ronald, the break's over. After 30 hours of work and several beatings, every bone in my body ached for a bed. Now it's my turn. So I went home to recharge. <laughs> Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.